Hey guys, Hub for Auction. Today is this 1997 model John Deere 892 ELC hydraulic excavator. Going to be a 300 class machine here, guys. The last year they made the uh, 892s. Uh, the 98 models were the 330 LCs. That gives you a pretty good co comparison of what size machine we're talking about here. This is a big girl. This is a running, working machine. All the functions work on it, guys. There are a few little uh, exceptions to that that we'll cover as we go around. We, we're going to do a full walk around on this machine. We'll show you every side of it, point out things that we've noticed, uh, little uh, dings and dents and leaks and stuff like that. We'll point all that stuff out to you as we go around. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day during the week. Come by, check this item out, see if there are any, any other items we have up for sale. Uh, full staff in the office, full staff on the yard, trucks in and out of here every day, guys. We can get this loaded on your truck or trailer, no problem. Your shipper's truck or trailer right here on a major highway. Um, if you have a question, guys, give us a call. Uh, shoot us an email. We're happy to discuss this machine with you, tell you what we know about it. Uh, all of our inspections are limited to uh, on-site visual inspection here, uh, but we'll do our best to uh, give you the rundown as best as we know. Um, this is a no reserve auction. That means that this item sells to the highest bidder, no matter what she brings, opens at a $100 opening bid, and uh, whoever's the highest bidder when we get done is gonna have a new machine here. Uh, we've got an operator in the cab. After I get done doing a walk around, we'll run it through the paces and it'll show you that everything runs and moves and does what it's supposed to. We'll start our walk around here on the front, guys. We've got a good GP. Uh, tooth bucket here. It is missing one tooth on the end over there as you can see <coughs> Excuse me One tooth does need to be welded back on has bolt on side cutters an eco bucket H block is intact guys we didn't notice any cracks or welds <coughs> Excuse me non-factory welds in the boom or stick that doesn't mean that there's not one there, but we did not see one. Pretty straight, guys. Looks like original paint here. Good undercarriage on this machine. Good triple bar grousers all the way around. The sprockets are still in good shape. Uh, a few dings and dents back here in the back doors, guys, but they do all open and close properly. All the, all the uh, doors are intact. There is a hydraulic leak coming out of the middle here, guys. It's running out. I'm guessing it's in that swing motor or uh, in that swing manifold. Some probably in the swing manifold. Probably got an O-ring or something that's busted. And it is letting some hydraulic fluid out into the upper part of the turntable there. And it's running out onto the, uh, onto the uh, frame there. Uh, good clear serial tag. Again... They just leave all original paint and everything on this machine. These, these two cylinders are seeping some. You can see where oil has run down the cylinder some there. All the glass is in the cab except for the foot glass, guys. The foot glass is missing as is really, really common. Uh, easy, to, easy to replace that. Matching undercarriage on this side. Good and clean on the inside here, guys. Very clean, actually. Fairly new batteries on this machine. We did have to boost it off while ago. It's been tried out multiple times, shut on and off, on and off. Uh, so we did have to hit it with a little bit of a boost. But it fired right up, so I'm guessing you just charge those. Those batteries are fairly new. You probably put a little charge in them and they'll be fine. Uh, again, a few little dings and dents back here on this back side. Counterweight's missing some paint, as typical. Uh, there's a little bit of oil or something dripping on the ground right there. Machine's not smoking at an idle here, guys. Um, it does have some blow-by out of the blow-by tube. has some uh, uh, exhaust blow-by that you can see. Uh, it's not real bad, but there is some, in case you don't see it here on the video. I'm not sure if it'll show up or not. You can see a little bit coming out down there. Looks like most all the bottom panels are intact. 
That's kind of unusual for seeing this age still have all of those. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble with the stepping motor that controls the uh, hot, the uh, throttle on this machine. It's kind of glitchy. It, it works sometimes and sometimes it don't. And today when we got ready to do the video, it's not working. You can reach in there and pull the throttle cable and the engine throttle was right up, no problem. Uh, all, it will, the operator will show you when we get inside the cab. Uh, display all lights up, it swaps modes. Uh, and, and all that like it's supposed to, uh, but it's 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 glitchy on getting power to it. Uh, we think it's in the fuse block, but we're not 100% sure. Operator will tell you more about that when we get to it. So the machine's just sitting here idling for our demonstration, and when it's idling, just at a dead idle, guys, and we start operating it, it is going to pump out some smoke out of the exhaust, uh, mainly because it's just sitting there idling. You can see a little bit of it there. It's not bad. But the machine is at a dead idle there. And everything works. Uh, but you are going to have to do a little work on the uh, electrical connection going to that stepping motor. Uh, we had it working uh, and it has quit. I don't know if it got wet or if something vibrated loose or we got a bare wire or what's going on. Uh, but but we, can, we played around with it a little bit while ago and we could not get it back to working. Uh, now, next time you go crank it up and get on it, it may work, uh, but it's not working right now. We're selling it that way, uh, needing needing a little TLC on that electrical connection uh, to the stepping motor or the throttle control motor. Turntable spins all the way around, guys, both sides. She's just a big, older machine, guys. She's pretty straight, needs a little TLC in just a couple places. If you're looking for a big heavy machine, do some land clearing, dig in a pit, or something like that, then here's a uh, here's a good solid rig for that. Put it on a farm, uh, occasional use, that kind of thing. But you need a lot of horsepower and a lot of a lot of oomph. Here's your 65,000 pound machine that'll do a lot of work for not a lot of money, guys. Do a lot of work for not a lot of money. Uh, we're gonna sell it when we get done, whatever it brings. Uh, so just be on top there, guys. You can see all the hydraulics function, all the travel functions. It goes forward, backward, steers left, it steers right. Uh, the engine runs like it's supposed to, guys. I think he just killed it there. You can see it cranked right back up. Those batteries are sat there and charged up just what little bit of running we've been doing it. All the mechanical functions seem to be okay. Uh, just an older, older machine, guys. We're selling it as is, needing a few little things. Uh, if you're not sure about what we mean by that, you want to call us and talk to us about it, we're happy to do that. Uh, come by and try it out yourself. Drive it, run it, operate it, check it out any way that you want to. All right, we're going to go take a look inside the cab here, guys. And he'll be able to give you some more details uh, on the uh, throttle control motors. Show you inside the cab of this machine. Gauges seem to be working properly. Showing 52.53 on the hours. No idea if it's if it's right or even remotely right. See there on your your throttle speed control. You've got idle, uh, low, economy, and power. That all works. We've had a little issue. The stepping motor that controls the throttle, it's back over in the right-hand engine compartment, uh, is a little glitchy sometimes. Sometimes it works and occasionally it cuts out and stops working. So I'm not sure if it's on the fritz or if there's a little bit of a weak connection there. The engine will idle up uh, and that step motor has been working, but we, we can't get it to work today. So we're just showing you as is and buy it that way, guys. But um, but the, we do know for sure that all the buttons here in the cab are working. The computer's okay in the machine. Uh, got AC controls there. Nothing comes on. Uh, it's got an aftermarket AC unit. We've not done anything to try to get that get that operational. So uh, just buy it that way. Other than that, the cab's in decent decent shape does have one of the foot pedals broken off there all the glass is there as we mentioned except for the foot glass the little uh, hatch on top of the cab 
won't stay closed. It is there. Let me show that to you so you can see it. That little hatch lid is there, but it won't latch. So it does tend to fly open. But decent machine, guys. Uh, could stand to have a few little things fixed on it, but a good core unit. Uh, just, just bid to uh, own it. We'll sell to the highest bidder regardless of price. Let us know if you have any questions, and as always, feel free to come by and try it out for yourself in person. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Be sure and look at our other auctions coming up on auction time as well as live auction coming up June 8th and 9th here at our Wynn, Arkansas auction yard. Uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and good luck with the auction.